Hi, this is Stephen from SeekTravelRide.com. In this short video, I wanna take you through the process of how you book your bike on a French train. We've written a much more in-depth article about how to travel easily with a bike on French trains. It goes into a lot more detail on the different train types, the rules for each type of train, whereas this video will be focused more so on the actual booking process where you need to book. I'll put a link to the article in the description below and you can have a read through that to fully understand traveling with a bike on the French rail system. So the first thing you'll need to do to book your bike on a French train is to head over to the booking website. SNCF is the French rail company and their site is where you need to head. I'll put a link in the description below or you could simply Google SNCF booking or WE which is OUI SNCF booking and you'll find it in the search results. As we scroll down, this window here is the one that we're interested in. If I expand it, you can see there's a from, to, outward date, inward date, passengers and bikes, which is what we're interested in today. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we were going to say that we want to go from Bordeaux to Po, Pyrenees. Uh, we choose a date. You can choose a rough time of day that you want to go. We'll say we want to go around 10 o'clock. We don't want to return, we just want it as a one-way ticket. So we just click on apply. Passengers here, the only thing we need to do with passengers is just double check that the age range is fine. If it's not, you just click on it and select the appropriate age range. Uh, should you have any season ticket or loyalty card, you can apply those there as well. If you want to add another passenger, uh, you just click on the add passenger and again just check the age, add any cards and apply. Next we come down to the bikes. There's a few options here but before I go into those one important thing to note is that the number of bikes that this picks up is based on the number of passengers that you select earlier. There's no ability to vary the number of bikes and passengers. So if you've got two people traveling, they've both got bikes, no problem. If you've got two people traveling and only one person has a bike, you're gonna to need to make two separate bookings. So be mindful of that. So we choose either no bike, non-folded or disassembled bike, so where your bike is complete, you would wheel it on or off or folded or disassembled bike. So if you've got a Brompton style folding bike or your bike is in a travel case that meets the dimension restrictions of 90 centimeters by 120, you can click on there. And they actually travel for free on all trains. You don't actually need to make a reservation for them. They just go into the luggage racks, which is why the size dimensions apply. If you see down here, you can see with TER trains, you can travel with your bike freely. So to see the TER train options, you actually need to select no bike. It sort of is a bit counterintuitive, but that's just the way the system's set up. My tip and what I usually do is actually start with the no bike option because that then gives me all the different train options that are available to me. If I selected two non-folded bikes initially, there might be TER services that I want to travel on that I won't see in the search results. So if we start with no bike, click on the search, so in the search results here, you can see there's a various, there's a range of options available. There's some TGV trains here and some TER trains here. If you want to select one of the TER trains, all you need to do is go through with the booking. If you want to select one of the TGV trains, you're going to have to modify the search and add the bikes in. So I'll go and do that to demonstrate. So we say we want two non-folded bikes. So you can see now in the search results that the TER trains are no longer there. And you can also see that there's no first class tickets available. With bike bookings and reservations, you cannot book first class tickets. And it's because the first class carriages don't have any space for bikes in them. And you can't travel in a carriage that's different to where your luggage or your bike is. All of these trains then have space available on them for bikes. If there was trains that didn't have the space available, they're already booked, they're not gonna appear in this search result. So we'll just select one of these. It gives you the options here to select any seat preferences you may have. It also gives you some discounts on car hire and hotel accommodation and the like if you want, or you can just skip that step. Again, it gives you the opportunity to make sure everything is okay. You can see here, there's two bikes at 10 euro each and there's the details of the trip, validate the basket. When you get to here, it's just a case of entering your email address, your name, and then again, the name of yourself and the passenger 
and checking on the terms and conditions. I'm not actually gonna go ahead and book this, but if I was to proceed, the next screen would be the payment screen and I would enter my credit card details. And once that's confirmed, I'll receive an email with the link to the tickets. You can see here that the tickets will be e-tickets. One tip would be to download the SNCF app. It's available on both Android and iOS platforms. And it's a simple matter of, there's a reference you'll get in the email and your name and adding the tickets to the app. And it's a really easy way of storing the uh, tickets while you're traveling. If you prefer, you can actually print the tickets out. There's a link available in the email. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty straightforward as you can see. If there's any questions you have, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, until next video, happy peddling.